What if you could turn your expertise into a million dollar offer in the next 15 minutes? Well, I've developed an AI system that helps online businesses do exactly that. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you every step, prompt, and strategy that you need to create that offer for yourself. And by the end of this video, you'll have your million dollar offer. All right, when it comes right down to it, business, if we actually think about it, is pretty easy, right? We serve a target audience. We understand what their challenges and pain points are. We pick one of those challenges or pain points to solve. We solve it with a specific offer. That audience gives us money for it. So we're gonna go through that exact process here today using my AI system to do exactly that. So with that, the first thing we're gonna do here today is we're gonna create a customer profile for our target audience. We're gonna really try to understand all their challenges and pain points. And I've written a really in-depth and thorough prompt that we're gonna use ChatGPT to you create that customer profile. The next step based on that customer profile is we are gonna come up with our million dollar offer ideas, 15 different ideas. In fact, through the prompt that I have written for this, we're gonna be able to choose one of those ideas that we like or multiple ideas. Then from from that idea that we choose, then we're gonna validate the idea. And again, I have uh, taken a prompt that I got from somebody else. I can't remember who it was. I wish I could credit them. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember where it came from, but it's a great prompt. I'm gonna share it with you here today. And so we're gonna validate that million dollar offer idea. Then after that, once we validate it, we're gonna create the offer. So I've written a full on prompt for that that will help you do it. And then also the final step of this is we're gonna write a full sales email sequence with a prompt. We're gonna use Claude for that because Claude by far is the best AI model for writing content. So let's jump right into the first prompt that we're gonna use is the customer profile prompt. All right, to show you the AI system for creating a million dollar offer, let's use a hypothetical business, a YouTube video consultant teaching content creators how to grow a million subscriber YouTube channels, hypothetical target audience, aspiring and mid-level content creators who are passionate about building a YouTube presence and have a growth mindset, blah, blah, blah. That's really important, obviously, because we are gonna use AI to figure out the biggest challenge and pain point that this target audience has so that we can solve it with our million dollar offer. And again, that first step is we're gonna create a customer profile using a prompt that I've written. We're gonna go over to ChatGPT to create that profile right now. All right, so I've just pasted the prompt that we're gonna use for the customer profile in the ChatGPT. By the way, I've done this with a few different models. I've tried out the O1 Preview, the O1 Mini. I get the best results with 4.0. So we're gonna use uh, GPT 4.0 on this. And by the way, all the prompts that I'm gonna be using here today you're welcome to check them out. I'll link to them in the description below. It's a Notion board and you can go and copy the prompts if you want to. Again, I'll link to it in the description below. So the most important part of this prompt, I think, is the persona that we're going to give it. So you're a world-class online business analyst with expert level expertise in crafting customer profiles that empower businesses with deep audience insights, okay? So then it goes into the rest of the prompt. Let's go ahead and run this prompt. All right, so it's just gone through and started off with a scratch pad of, as you can see here, key challenges and pain points, desires and aspirations, et cetera, et cetera. Then it comes down here to the final customer profile. So what we're gonna do is we need this for future prompts that we're gonna use in this system. So I'm gonna come in here and copy all of this. I'm gonna paste this off into another doc so that we can come back to it later and especially in the next prompt. All right, now that we've got our customer profile, it's really in depth. Again, I'll show it to you once we're all done this entire system, but we've got customer pain points, challenges, aspirations of the target audience, et cetera. And again, we're gonna use that information in our next step, which is to create our million dollar idea. Again, I've written a really thorough prompt and we're gonna put that in the chat GPT using GPT 4.0 again. And we're gonna get some great, actually 15 different ideas. Now I wanna point your attention to, I'm asking the role I want it to play is an expert in, so a world renowned online marketing strategist with an expertise in blue ocean thinking. So that book, Blue Ocean Strategy, I think it is. And again, I wish I could remember where I originally got sort of the framework, if you will, of this prompt from. It's like a year and a half ago. I don't remember who it is. I'd love to give them credit, but unfortunately, I don't remember who, who originally I saw this type of prompt from. But I've made it my own over the past uh, year and a half, and it works really, really well. So what it's going to do, it's going to give us 15 different offer ideas through the lens of Blue Ocean Strategy. And more 
specifically, by the way, I've pasted in the customer profile from the previous prompt. So I've taken that output, pasted it here into the prompt, but I'm asking it to give us answers through the lens of the Pioneer Migrator Settler Map Framework, which comes from the Blue Ocean Strategy. And when I show you the results here to this prompt, I'll explain more about what Pioneer Migrator Settler means, but let's get this prompt going and see what kind of output it gives us. All right, so here's the result of this prompt. I asked it to give it to me in table format, which is why you're seeing this. I asked it to break it down into the different columns, five ideas for pioneers, five migrator ideas, and five settler ideas. And before I start going through the ideas, I'll just share with you. So pioneers are the blue ocean offerings. These, uh, as you can see here, these ideas aim to create entirely new market spaces by integrating cutting edge technology, gamification, AI, et cetera. Migrators are sort of the mid-level Level innovations. This is where you're kind of updating or upgrading an existing offer with improved features or specialization. And then the, then the settlers, they're foundational solutions. You're going to be competing a lot more with other businesses out there in existing markets, but they're still adding value and so forth, as you can see here. All right. So in looking through these ideas here, they're decent, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to switch the models and just to see what, say, for example, the O1 preview model will give us. And again, as I mentioned earlier, the 4.0 model tends to outperform the 01 preview model on this, but let's see what it can do. All right. So it just ran through the 01 model output here. This is what we're looking at right now. And as you can see here, it fought for about 31 seconds. I actually don't mind these ideas. I think that the pioneer ideas are better than a little bit more outside the box, if you will, than the 4.0 model ideas. So let's pick one of these ideas between between the 01 preview result and the 40 result. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to validate that idea in the next prompt. So let's go over and grab the idea validator prompt so that we can put this idea into it and see what kind of output it gives us. All right, so I've just grabbed the prompt, pasted it here into ChatGPT again. I'm gonna use the 40 model. And this is another one. So this is actually the second prompt in all of these. I don't remember where I got this prompt originally. I've sort of massaged it into more something that I like and that I think works the best. And I've gone ahead and put the creator accelerator incubator offer idea, that's a mouthful, into this prompt here. And let's see what the output does. By the way, this entire series of AI prompts is something that I would turn into a workflow to be able to create any number of ideas for different things in the business. And this is exactly exactly the type of automation that I have inside for our members inside my AI playbook premium school community, which I will leave in the description below a link to it. It's for online businesses. If you're looking to leverage AI in your business so you can streamline and increase profit, this membership is for you. Again, I'll leave a link to the group in the description below. All right, let's go ahead and put this prompt through and let's see what the validation comes up with. I have a feeling I know what it's going to say, but let's go ahead and put it in there. All right, so here's the output from that prompt and and I really like what it has given us here. So first of all, this is the idea that we just put in there. It talks about potential markets. So this is great because it gives you some ideas for potential markets that maybe you didn't think about before. Then you've got this big block of text here, which the AI is creating different persona examples and how the pain points for that specific market could be reflected in this offer. This is a great prompt that gives us a ton of information. Then and down here, this is where it really gets into some interesting information. So market risks gives you five different risks for this specific offer idea. So the high cost of the program might deter younger or budget conscious creators, over promising, crowded market, niche creators, niche creators, depending on platform algorithms could limit program success rates, et cetera. Then it gives you alternative business models for this specific offer. And I love that it does this. And I love the information that it has given us right now. I think it's given us some great ideas. So for example, collaborating with platforms like YouTube or TikTok to offer certification-based courses. So I used to do certification for Facebook ads years and years ago, and it's something that you can charge top dollar for. Um, so I think that's, I like that idea. Introduce subscription model with ongoing mentorship rather than a fixed term program. I'd rather do a higher ticket item and then on the back end of it, have a membership. The other thing too that I really like is 
the offer a tiered pricing structure to make the program accessible to different budgets. And so I really like these ideas and I think that we can take these to create one solid offer. And then by the way, the output finishes with the final validation and recommendations. And it says the creator accelerator incubator has strong potential, especially however, its success hinges on clear positioning, affordability and tangible outcomes beyond the ambitious million subscriber milestone to thrive. It must do this, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I think we've got a really good foundation of a million dollar offer right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the original offer, put into it some feedback that came from this output here. And in the next step in our system here, we're gonna create this offer. We're gonna actually outline the entire offer with our next prompt. All right, so now that we just validated this offer and I took some of that feedback and combined it with with the original offer idea. Now let's go create this million dollar offer. I've got a prompt for that. And for that, we're gonna use Claude. I like Claude for this specific type of task way better. So let's go put the prompt into Claude and I'm gonna use the 3.5 Sonnet model and let's see what kind of output it gives us. All right, here we are inside of Claude. I've already pasted the prompt here into Claude. I have put in the offer description, I put in the target audience and we're gonna click go and see what kind of output it gives us. Again, as I mentioned, I like Claude way better for this type of exercise, but what I will do is I will put this exact same prompt over into ChatGPT to see what kind of difference it might gives, gives me in terms of the output. But I'm gonna start this process here in Claude. And you'll see I'm asking Claude for an offer title, the value proposition, pricing strategy, features and benefits, bonus or incentives, uh, a strong call to action and a guarantee or risk reversal. So it's basically creating the outline of what this offer is, because then what we what we can do with all this after we can take it and create the actual content, the outline and the content calendar, etc., for the specific offer so that it's building out the entire thing. So let's take a look at the output. All right. So here's the output and it is given a title idea and also it's giving reasoning, which I've asked it to do for everything that it gives us. So it is named the program, the Million Maker Mastermind Elite Creator Accelerator Program. Okay, cool. Value proposition, transform your YouTube channel into a thriving seven-figure business through personalized mentorship, data-driven, uh, and support needed to reach million subscribers in record time. All right, cool. Not a bad value proposition. Again, we could work on that. But then what? here's what I really like. I asked it to give tiered pricing strategies because of the feedback it gave us in the validation prompt and it did exactly that. It broke this down into three different tiers, the basic tier for five grand, the premier tier for uh, 10,000 and the elite tier for 15,000. And it broke down what to include in each one of these tiers, which again, the next step, if you like this, is you could use Claude to really flesh out the different tiers and to create the content and everything and be done with it really, really quickly. Now, then it talks about the features and benefits, um, breaking down each one of the, the different offers with, within this tier here. It gives a fast action bonus right here, as you can see. Then it is giving the call to action, secure your spot in the next million maker cohort, only 50 positions. You know, we would, we would change that. Then it gives a risk reversal right here. And then it summarizes the entire offer, which I love. I actually like these pricing tiers a lot. I'll tell you right now, this is a million dollar offer. Offer. I've sold stuff like this before. Seven figures, absolutely, on this type of offer at these price points. Completely doable. All right, so let's test this exact same prompt over in ChatGPT with the 4.0 model and see what it comes up with. All right, so again, I'm gonna test this with 4.0. I will probably also see what the output is with 01 preview, but let's see what it gives us with 4.0 to start with. All right, so this is the output that 4.0 gave us. Just reading through this, I do not like it as well as I like Claude's response. I'm kind of not surprised at that. I mean, even in the offer title, it's kind of super boring. Creator, accelerator, incubator. You're fast track to a million subscribers. Like that. Value proposition. It, it uses the word powerhouse, which <laughs> right there turns me off, but it's not that bad. Pricing strategy. As you can see here, it went way more into, or it, I should say it didn't go as far into the elements of the each pricing tier. So starter track, three grand, five grand for growth, pro track for eight grand. Um, 
then it doesn't necessarily talk specifically about what's included, you know, the breakdown of each one of these things for each level. That's okay because it does give us the features and benefits, which I do like. By the way, also at these pricing levels, totally can be a seven figure business. Um, bonuses or incentives. Okay, definitely more in depth in Claude. Um, call to action, it's decent. Risk reversal, okay. So again, what I'm gonna do, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna test the O1 preview model for this and see what kind of differences it gives us. All right, so here's the output from the O1 preview model. And I can tell you right off the bat, this is not very good. Uh, 4.0 is way better in its output. And frankly, I'm pretty surprised at what it is giving me here. It gave pretty much the same tiered pricing, payment plan, it added the payment plans, features and benefits. Okay, but it's not super fleshed out. I love the guarantee. We're confident in the value of the program. If you're not satisfied within the first 30 days, we offer a full refund, no questions asked. Okay, so we're definitely gonna go with Claude on this one here. So we'll go back over to Claude. We're gonna grab this output here and it's this information and description and explanation of the offer that we're gonna use to write sales email sequence to sell this offer. Now, I will say at these price points, what we're gonna be quote selling is a sales call. So we're not gonna be selling these offers outright from your, uh, from your emails. We're gonna be selling sales calls to be able to sell these offers because of the price points. All right, as I just mentioned, the final step in our AI system for creating our million dollar offer is to write the sales sequence. We are absolutely gonna be using Claude for this. Claude by far is a better writer than any of the other AI models out there. So let's uh, create the prompt and put it into Claude and use all the information that we've gathered so far from the other previous uh, prompt outputs and have it write a sales sequence for us. All right, I've just put the sales sequence writing prompt here into Claude. And what I wanna point out to you is the number one, the role, you're a world-class conversion copywriter specializing in writing persuasive yet empathetic email copy for online businesses. And then I'm giving it the task to create a high converting sales email sequence to quote sell. I'm calling them YouTube growth strategy calls so that call attendees can be offered the below offer. And then what I've done is I've taken the complete output from the previous step and then pasted it here into the prompt. It came out as an attachment. And so I'm gonna click go now. So the output is gonna be a seven email sales sequence. All right, so as you can see here, Claude just launched the artifacts feature. So it is uh, producing the emails over on the right hand side here. And when it gets done emails, I can start giving it feedback over here in the input field. And before I know it, I'm gonna have seven emails here that I can use to sell this offer. All right, so that took about 45 seconds or so. And it wrote a seven day email sequence designed to drive bookings for the strategy calls and it walks through what each email is in the sequence, talks about the key strategies used. And so now I would just have to go through each of these emails, provide feedback to Claude and massage these emails and add stories and personal touches, et cetera. But we've got everything we need now to sell this offer and sell people on the strategy calls. So either you or myself or a sales team can start making sales of our brand new offer and bring this to a seven figure offer. All right, so there you have it. There's the AI system that creates million dollar offers for online businesses. Again, I'll link to the uh, the Notion notebook with all these prompts in it so that you can use them for your own business or for a client's business. Again, I'll also link in the description below to my AI Playbook Premium School Community for online businesses. Definitely join us in there. Link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.